Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. At the end of the last episode, you probably remember, if you've been watching consistently, uh, this door bugged the heck out on me. I didn't read the, the bilge pump. <gasps> this is finally the bilge pump. Okay, so the door bugged out. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I don't know if it's my fault exactly, but you see, you see... We did this properly now. I had to revert to an old save in order to get back here to try it again. And it turns out, I think what happened is the geometry of this latch, this uh, is a little bit of metal over here that helps to lock the door, somehow got stuck inside the geometry of the door. So it prevented me from being able to open it correctement like this. You see? Now I can, now I can with great pleasure, close this. And reopen it! Hey! Okay, now, in this episode, we're gonna close the door behind us. I... yes. We have already achieved what I wanted to achieve today, and that is get through this door. Whew. It's already starting to get freaky! I gotta remind myself of a number of details because uh, I had a ripper of a recording session a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, it must have been like oh, two weeks now, and uh, I um, I haven't <laughs> I haven't recorded since. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. Yes, Mr. Mendes, as I am, is very curious as to who these damn kids are. If you remember, there was paperwork to mention that uh, these kids that Mr. Mendes might be writing about, nah, not exactly the kids that you and I know about, us human beings. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what in the world's going on. Well, uh, is it over here? That's a straight drop. I don't like the look of that. It looks pretty pivotal, though. How about we jump? This leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London, he could only see the temple rising into the smog. Bottle of gin is empty, that's the tragedy here. I mean, sleep, skyline, temple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gin though, man. What are you gonna do without a good gin? I wonder if these are sewers that we're walking into. If, what would kids, you know, air quotes, kids, close air quotes, what would they be doing down in the sewer? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> it's a little curious. Um, it, it, <clears throat> is it me or are chapters no it's not it, it is just me it's not actually this game that you know chapters are kind of denoted by falling into things that doesn't seem quite right still it's not the first time that we've jumped down into something I'm gonna go over to this way that would be the right <laughs> got some I uh, got some bones here I cannot play around with them that's really too bad that's a tragedy October the 2nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for gambrolling. <laughs> That's a fun word to say. And evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature, by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes into stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. They never really mention what precisely the product is, it's probably a shocker to find out what it is later. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas, and the requirements for increased heat in others. The removal of heat from some areas, yeah. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection, regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in the other. 
Ooh, pipes. Pipes and fancy plumbing. That's the name of the game at the turn of the century. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. <laughs> the true product of the age? You're not gonna sell it. Uh, a heady brew. Okay, yeah, I didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is from when we had to crack open that lock. The flooded tunnels. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. Uh, that would be myself. I am right. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the uh, water levels. <laughs> the smell is almost unbearable, which makes me gag. <laughs> why would have? Why would the saboteur have flooded the t the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? Really hoping we're gonna find that out. Hopefully with not that much trouble. Okay, I thought I saw a little bit of uh, like weird artifacting or some kind of uh, visual glitch, but I think that's just little bugs in the air. You see? They're, they're, so, they're buzzing around this light. Yeah. I'm gonna stick to my right thing. And this harkens me back. I tell you what. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Damn it! I don't think I can remember the name that I had. Was the, oh, it was the Liquidator. If, by chance, ladies and gentlemen, you might have uh, watched my series on Amnesia A Dark Descent, you might know who the Liquidator is. I think I called him Soupy once, too. He's a monster. He, uh, he liked water. And he was invisible. Except for the splashing that he made in the water. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, I, I, I see a possible trap when I see one. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna, I, I need the exercise anyway. I've probably, I probably haven't eaten in 12 hours. That's too much. I gotta, I gotta walk it off. <laughs> one of those curious things. Oh, I see you too. That's a curious thing. Universally in video games. Oh, I wonder if this would cause anything. Oh god. Oh yeah, that, that's 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 genuine poop over there. Um, one of those things that I I know for the sake of realism is j well, it, it's too much to be realistic in this regard. But to not let a character eat once in a while, that one sometimes sometimes I feel like going down through here is the right thing, but this is gonna close behind me, isn't it? Well, close in front of me now that I'm staring at it. I'm sorry, did I bother anybody? I think I did. I'm just gonna run over here. Was it just clearing his throat? Was, was somebody actually there, or was that just me? I thought I heard a little walking. Hello? Yeah, you can quiet down over there, Soupy. Hmm, I'm not sure what I should be doing. This looks like a terrible trap. That looks like it's nothing anyway? How about we go search that out before we, uh... Bef yeah, there's definitely a gentleman on the other side of that. So we're going to do a little exploring before we head over that way. Anytime there's a monster, I suppose that is the correct direction to go into. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of exploring first. Ugh. Just in case there's extra paperwork, extra exposition. Okay, it really doesn't look like there's much over here. There's nothing on the ceilings. No, the stairs over there. Okay, there's definitely somebody there. As if that needs bearing rep uh, repetition. Okay. Uh, that didn't... I don't think there was anything over there. 
because it was closed? I, uh, <laughs> I don't trust it enough to walk on it still. I think that was closed over there, wasn't it? There, right, let's jog. All this food I haven't been eating, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lewis Gate 1, yeah, you're still closed over here too. I and I hear sounds over to the right too. Hmm. 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 Okay. I refuse. You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. Let's see if anything fun happens. Not that much, huh? I mean, it's a little bit freaky to have the liquidator right behind you. Sorry, right underneath you. That's even worse. Okay, so in the interest of safety, I'm going to walk real, real quietly. Okay. This seems like an excellent opportunity to be gotten. Okay. That's closed. That's definitely closed. That's like as closed as you're gonna get, eh? Yeah. I don't want to turn my light on. Because, you know... <sighs> okay. Okay, a bad guy's probably over there. Let's go over this way. That's, uh... Did I just hear... Okay. So far, I think we're safe. So far. It could be I'm gonna have to circle back around to head over that way anyhow. Oh, this is all disgusting. I'm gonna have to go bathe in that stuff, aren't I? <laughs> I know you're angry. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't have a sandwich I can throw in. Back in the day, we just throw a dead guy. We don't have a dead guy today. We're all out. We're fresh out. Gotta wait on a delivery of product. Air quotes all over the damn place there, huh? Oh, yes. This looks safe. Um, okay. So I'm probably going to have to... I probably need to do Sluis 1, huh? So that I can pass through that and maybe find the other thing for Sluis 2 over on the other side there. Okay. Is that, um, Tin Hinan? That's from the first game as well, by the way. August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have been, have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. Great. <laughs> they remind me of my limitations. There is no Chelm and I am no Eliyahu. At least, not yet. Not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. It, it, what? It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. There is a doorway between something and it's open and it's generating heat. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sense out of this. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated and their uh, their duality tears them asunder. Duality. Okay, so this must be a portal. Uh, tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically torn from one world to the other, and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world, and then they are torn away and cease to have a physical form. The, this vicious ripping back and forth between the worlds have driven them quite insane. I understand, man. Jeez. <laughs> I have ordered these affected areas sealed, and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The abode of failed experiments, ghosts, of fear and spite and amusement the guy would not would not be talking about it unless it was necessary to approach it monsieur telephone 
you're gonna go ringing, aren't you? Soon as I turn this wheel, aren't you? I have my eye on you, buddy. Nah, <laughs> see? Yeah, I had my eye on it and it totally did. Uh, I'm sorry, what? We are waiting for you? This is... Is this... Back <clears throat> okay, is this actually Mandus speaking to Mandus through the telephone? Or, uh... Or could it be that man or that there is another Mandus? Or maybe a genuine Mandus? And then there's me, who thinks he's Mandus. Hmm. I kind of wish I could, like... Move the camera in such a way to simulate scratching on my head. Does this work? Hmm, I'm scratching my head right now. Okay, well, I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> Actually, no. Look at... Mm, nope. I was going to say that's the end of an episode because look at my timer. But my timer is a little bit off. So, uh, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to... We're going to go. Is this looking a little bit... No, it's a bit fuller. Is it? Okay, yeah, I think it's still... Okay, yeah, that's, uh... Slewis Gate 2. Okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay. Okay, we're back here. Gotta walk quietly. Because I think... There might still be a gentleman. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm gonna walk over this way. Everything's going to be fine. Yes, this is open. All of a sudden, I'm gonna walk through. Okay. This looks quite empty. How about that? How about that? Hey! Look at you! This place looks available. This would be, I guess, Slewis Gate number two. Numero deux. That's, uh, that's what it says. Yeah. So now, we're gonna continue avoiding guaranteed death. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have to go walk around in that excreta that they were talking about. Yeah. I bet you, though, that with the presence of Soupy, it's, mm, the Liquidator's gonna get me, and uh, they wouldn't have the Liquidator there unless it was a tremendously good reason to dive into the water somewhere. Okay, so... I'm gonna... Okay, I just ran across. I just thought... You know, just in case. I figured that's such an open and exposed area. Why wouldn't it collapse under me at some point? But I'm... What is this doing here? This is awfully odd. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Pandas, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does, indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally, these things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Boy, Mandus sounds, uh, yeah. I think I might agree with the other gentleman that Mandus might have been speaking with. He sounds like a maniac. Okay. At this point, I'm going to say thank you for joining me, folks. Uh, because I think we got a right amount of time. In the next episode, we're going to continue looking around these sewers. And maybe, maybe, we might make it to draining the bilge. And maybe we'll get down to the bottom. Uh, and hopefully there will be nothing underneath that bottom. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of all of this. Stay tuned, folks.